when we first started, we've always done a, like decline account manager role. Like that has not changed. And the level of quality of what we, we do hasn't changed. Like we've never, ever, ever sacrificed our quality of work. And I think that's why we've stuck around and we're still here. Welcome to the Happy Clients Podcast, brought to you by Dot and Company. Whether you're a virtual assistant, an agency owner, or a client-facing account manager, we all deal with clients. Lucky for you, client management is what we do best. Now, let's dig in. Chat cam life and have some fun along the way. Cheers to happy clients. Welcome to the 100th episode of the Happy Clients Podcast. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's been so, like a year and a half-ish since we started. Oh my God, a year and a half, a hundred. When you're hitting those sort of 100 numbers, you know, I just feel like that's some pretty serious milestones for sure. That means we've spent a lot of hours on Zoom <laughs> recording <laughs> with guests, with just the two of us, with team members. Oh my gosh, we tried to do it in person. That was a flop. I think we just giggled the whole time. But yeah, it's been crazy. It's been awesome. Katie and I kind of said, let's jump on. Let's Thank you guys for being here for 100 episodes and kind of fill you in on where we've come over the last three, four years and how we've really refined who we are and what we do and I yeah. guess changed things, but really haven't changed mm -hmm. things, which is cool. Escalated things, like grew things, which was so cool because we'll just dive right in. Like where we yeah. started, Taylor, and where we are today is like so insane because where we were and we were just kind of reaching out to our network and getting these really awesome agencies on board and really eager to kind of just prove client account management, right? And knowing that people need it, but we had to like really get our feet wet or our feet dirty, our hands dirty in it all. Yeah. So kind of where we were and we're so grateful for those early agencies, right? those people who really helped guide us and really streamline the role, I guess. Yeah. When we first started, we've always done a, like the client account manager role. Like that has not changed. And the level of quality of what we, we do hasn't changed. Like we've never, ever, ever sacrificed our quality of work. And I think that's why we've mm -hmm. stuck around and we're still here. But when we started, we were splitting out the project management role from the account manager role. And we were thinking of it just in number of clients and like the way that we were structuring kind of our scope was a little bit different and it didn't take long for us to be like, uh, no, like in order for us to do a good yeah. job, but we're just going to do it all. <laughs> we need to do yeah. project management, the account yeah. management. Like, it doesn't matter if there's one or 20 clients, like we just need to do all of it and glue it together. Yeah. And I think that was actually a good pivot because you really need to be like all in, you know what I mm -hmm. mean? Like, although you might not work with every client in the agency, you need to sort of like understand the agency. So it is good to kind of be that, although fractional, but that really full-time member that just is like living and breathing the agency. So that was actually huge. I kind of forgot about those days of like <laughs> by client or segmenting it like that. So that was definitely huge. And then I think when we started growing and really expanding, that's when we started seeing people's strengths, like Emma and how her brain works and how great she is at really like guiding people in a really awesome direction, how she made cam school, how, you know, she really made that her own and take charge. So it was good to even piggyback on those special unicorns we have too. We're always searching for those unicorns and yeah. knowing how they grow the business. Yeah. And I would say one of our most proud things that we've been able to do is refine our hiring and mm -hmm. figuring out exactly who we want on our team and why, and not sacrificing that at all. Mm -hmm. Like we've really narrowed totally. that down in the last year and we see these really amazing people come through that want to work with us. You know, we have 500 plus applications a month mm -hmm. and if we don't find this specific person that we're looking for based on experience and personality and written communication and verbal communication and video, and they have to be analytical and they have to have a bubbly personality, like all these things that go into it, we're very, very picky. And like, we haven't strayed away from that, which is, I think, yeah. really great. 
Yeah, I think that was a huge turning point for sure, because we were in a process that was kind of always up against the wall or wasn't quite moving as quickly as we needed it to, or we weren't really getting what we wanted. And then once we did really refine that, then all these really awesome candidates started coming through and, and we started talking to really great people and you know, really seeing how they fit in at Dot and Company. And I think that the point is to really understand what we're looking for is sometimes it's not a fit. And that breaks my heart because these people are like the best and they're so smart, but kind of being really maintaining that sort of integrity of, of what Dot and Company needs as client account managers. That was huge. Loved that and love where we are now in our whole process. It's actually, I don't want to say it's amazing, but it's pretty, pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you look at our team, Katie yeah. and I always say like, anybody that works with us is somebody that we literally want to sit down and have a glass of wine with or have a coffee with. Like these are people we actually do want to be on a good level with. Like it's not just a working relationship. Like they're part of our dot fam and we will meet them very soon. And that's kind of our most proud thing is that we've been really able to figure out who is on our team and why and what their role is and and where we're going, which has been really great. So to think back to 2019 and to even where we are, like even having this podcast and having these moments that are like contributing to our growth, that's amazing. And I think because we have this momentum of, I guess, proof of concept or like everybody, you know, kind of needs a client account manager and we can really excel that process and be a little bit picky and be a little bit, I guess, in tune to what makes a really awesome client account manager Mm -hmm. coupled with this entire other part of Dot & Company, which is steadily growing as well. So we have had podcasts about training It's definitely something that people are more than interested in and we're training so many teams. So I think that's something to talk about too, as we're talking about growth. Yeah. It's one of these things that kind of came out of our own needs is we needed to train our team and then kind of came cam school and then people were reaching out to us. It just kind of happened all all at once Mm -hmm. organically. And then we've figured out, okay, we can actually utilize all of our training and all of our knowledge and train other people. Although we didn't hire them and they work in another agency, we a lot of these skills are very transferable. So yeah, that's been huge. Like one-on-one training, CAM school, all of our products, mm-hmm. basically like Emma describes it as like taking all of our brains and like giving it to people. And that's mm-hmm. really what it feels like, which is great. So like just the content that, you know, our team has access to and other agencies have access to has been so wonderful to just see that kind of blossom over the last couple of years. Yeah, it's like insane to think, Even July, 2019, when Taylor and I kind of hooked up and started this whole thing and well, I guess got agencies to work with Don Company as client account managers, (laughs) I'm not taking credit, but, you know, convinced people that they need a client account manager didn't take much convincing. (laughs) Um, That's a milestone. And then the podcast is a milestone. Now we're hundred episodes in and that's a huge milestone. Training's a milestone. Like it is so great to sort of just really see what can unfold in a relatively short period of time. Yeah. It feels like forever, but it feels like yesterday at the same time. I mean, we've had an entire global pandemic in between, which is, you know, kind of time warps. But, you know, when we first started this podcast, it was one of these things where we were like, we know we should start a podcast. Like everyone says you should, like, maybe we'll just do it. And we've enjoyed it. Like, I actually enjoy this way more than I ever thought. I don't know about you. I mean, client account management isn't a story, but we have a story to tell. We have something to like share with a lot of people. And I think that's what we try to do in the podcast, but also like connect the audience and people who are listening with, with other people in the industry, which is massive. And the kind of snowball just goes from there. So there's no secrets here. Like I can talk to a brick wall, but (laughs) we do like to talk and it's beneficial for us too, to be tapped in and and learn more about what's happening in the industry. So there's so many layers to having the podcast that it's just really awesome. And to think that it's been a hundred episodes is just wild. Yeah. And I feel like we're going to quickly get to 200 because we talk so much and have such amazing guests. (laughs) Like we have 
I think a huge list of people who we want to interview and that are kind of scheduled and like it's so awesome and we definitely want to do more of these one-on-ones and just give you guys value and kind of tips and, and shout tricks. out to the people that have been on the 100 yes. episodes big shout out big thank you like that is propelling us so we thought maybe I guess I thought I don't speak for you Taylor but I thought this had to be very formal very structured and I think at the beginning it was I can remember yeah. reading the notes and and doing yeah. all that stuff but when it is more authentic and organic you really get to those high value conversations which um are good for us good for listening yeah. good for you know propelling us in the digital marketing world all the things yeah. So if you were thinking about starting a podcast, definitely do it. My tip would be to have a co-host because it's so much more fun. Um, <laughs> and we've obviously built this like big SOP of how to like produce our podcast. So if that is helpful for you, like send us a message, let us know how we can help you. Thank you so, I know so much somebody, for listening. Somebody to listening to this is like, man, I wish I just want to start a podcast. And like, as much as we can say, just go and do it. Maybe you need that conversation and we'll mm -hmm. send you a calendar um, link or a scheduling link and we'll hop on a call because it's such a great marketing move, business move. And it really kind of keeps you in tune to the culture, the climate of, of digital marketing or whatever your industry might be. Absolutely. Well, thank you guys so much for sticking around. We'll see you in the next 100 episodes and okay. give you guys all the tips and tricks that we have. Yeah, so all our information is linked to this episode, but you know where to find us, Scott and company.co. And piece of advice is what is it? I guess celebrate those milestones. Yeah. Here's to 100 episodes. Cheers to happy clients.